3,000 American soldiers in the jungles of Burma. The year, 1944. Roosevelt and Marshall established an elite American fighting unit to go behind enemy lines into the jungles of Japanese-occupied Southeast Asia to recover the territory of northern Burma and clear the path for the construction of the Lido Road. This road would serve as the overland connection between India and China. It was a link that had been severed by Japan's invasion of Burma two years earlier. It was a dangerous and hazardous mission. They were the 5307th composite unit of the Army of the United States. But history remembers them as Merrill's Marauders. Tough and fearless. Named after the unit's commanding officer, Brigadier General Frank D. Merrill. Their long march began in India and over the outlying ranges of the Himalayan mountains into Burma. With no tanks or heavy artillery to support them, they did much with the little. Marauders walked over 1,000 miles through extremely dense and almost impenetrable jungles, each man carrying a rifle, a machine gun, and a kukri. Equipment and supplies they carried on their backs and on the backs of pack mules. Food and munitions came from the skies by way of airdrop, which was still in its infant stage. They were the first American combat troops to fight on the Asian continent. The elements, the elements. In the, the tropical elements. jungles of Burma, the marauders battled against extreme heat and humidity and monsoons. The elements, they also the dealt elements. with hunger, exhaustion, and disease. In five major and 30 minor battles, the American warriors met and defeated the veteran soldiers of the Japanese 18th Division. Hard hitters. The Marauders disrupted their supply and communication lines at every turn, while also preparing the way for the southward advance of the Allied Chinese forces. The final victory for the Marauders came with the capture of the Mietkina airfield, the only all-weather airstrip in northern Burma. This was in August of 1944. There were 2,997 marauders in all, out of which about 2,400 were selected for combat in the beginning of the journey that February. By the end of the struggle, some six months later, only 200 men were left standing. 272 were killed, 955 wounded, and 980 had been evacuated for illness and disease. Each member of the unit received the Bronze Star, an extremely rare distinction. It was described as one of the toughest assignments ever handed to a group of American fighters. And that's because it was the first of its kind. Hard hitters. Hard -hitters.